you guys, Cookcraft here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to dye carnations. And this is an overnight project, not a five minute project, so be prepared. Um, so for this, you're, you're going to need white carnations, not any color, um, food dye or food coloring, glasses or plastic cups or any type of cup, preferably small, and tap water. You also are going to want some paper towels around and a scissor. So what I did is I cut this carnation about right above, well, almost to the third node, depending on the size of flower. So then what you want to do is you want to take your vase or glass and fill it up with water. The more water you add, it dilutes the color more, so you don't want to add too much. So that's a good amount right here. Then you want to add the food coloring. So I'm using blue right now, and as you can see over here, I use red, and this is what happens overnight. And, but these are the colors that it's going to make. So you just take the paper towel and mix the two colors together if you want a different color. You want to add a lot of drops of food coloring. So I'm going to add 13. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They may look really dark, but it's going to come out blue. Then you want to take the carnation and stick it in. So this one, after overnight, it's going to turn blue. Now set that aside, grab another vase, and you want to do the same. Fill it up with water. This one's yellow, so I'm not going to use a lot of water for this. Take my yellow food dye. and put a lot of yellow in, because yellow is a very mild color. So I put about that much until it looks orange. Add a couple drops more. I add three drops. And then you want to grab another flower. Um, I'm going to take this one. And these over here are the nodes. So one node, two nodes, three nodes. Four nodes. So I'm going to cut it right below the fourth node at an angle. You can't do it like this. You have to put it at an angle. So cut it. Put the stem aside. And take this and put it in here. Now the reason why I change these colors is because when the water travels up the stem and to the flower, it's only see-through, so it just stays the color itself. But now, the water has food coloring in it, so it changes the color of the flower. So let's, do you want to mix a color? I think we should just do green, and then we can start doing some mixing. And add my green. That looks good. Drops more. And then what you want to do is take another flower. Ooh, this one's a long one. And let's see, one node, two nodes, three nodes. And cut it right below the fourth. Put this down aside. And place this in the green. Now we can start mixing the colors. So you're going to want all your colors here, and grab a paper towel. I need to grab one. And throw this one away. So this is where we mix all the colors together to find out which one we want. Just letting you know, um, you don't have to cut a lot off of the flower. You can just cut a little, but you have to cut it. So I'm going to dump it in here. Always having a paper towel underneath in case I don't spill. This is where we're going to do our color mixing. I'm going to take red and put it in here. I think I'm going to put five drops. Two, three, four, five of red. And then three of blue. Hopefully that will create purple. You could always adjust it. One, two, three. Let's see what it's going to make. 
you want, you can give it a bit of a stir. Yep, it looks like wine. And then you want to take a flower. Cut this. One, two, three. Right over here. This flower is kind of short, so I'm cutting it right above the third node. And then place it in here. And that's going to turn purple. And then I have one more vase that we could use. So I'm going to place the water. And let's make I think we should do a yellow and a red. To make orange. So I'm gonna put in a lot of yellow. And then some red. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm going to go shake it up a bit. That's a nice color red. I'm going to go grab a flower. One, two, three. Right about the third. And place it in. And that is how you make color carnations, like you buy in the stores. But they all start off as white, and they're going to turn into this. Now, if you leave this overnight, it's going to turn the whole thing red. But I think I like it this way. So if you want, when you like it a certain way, just take it out and let it sit. But the middle doesn't have any color, so I'm going to let it sit a tiny bit longer. And after, I would say, five hours, the whole flower would be completely filled with red around the edges. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Here's some fun facts, guys. When you ever eat food coloring or anything with that in there, this is what happens inside of you. It changes colors. So if you want them to look like this, leave them in overnight. Any further, leave them in for a bit longer. Bye.